The human brain is a complex organ that is still not fully understood by scientists. It is responsible for all our thoughts, emotions, and actions, and it is constantly processing vast amounts of information from our senses. Over the past century, researchers have made great strides in unraveling some of the mysteries of the brain, but there is still much that remains unknown. One area of the brain that has received a lot of attention in recent years is the prefrontal cortex. This part of the brain is located at the front of the cerebral hemispheres. And it is involved in a wide range of cognitive functions, including decision-making, working memory, and attention control. Studies have shown that the prefrontal cortex is also involved in a number of social and emotional processes, such as empathy and self-awareness. Despite its importance, the prefrontal cortex is also one of the most vulnerable regions of the brain. It is especially susceptible to damage from traumatic brain injuries, strokes, and certain psychiatric disorders. Damage to the prefrontal cortex can lead to a range of cognitive, emotional, and behavioral problems, such as impaired decision-making, reduced self-control, and altered social behavior. One of the challenges in studying the prefrontal cortex is that it is not a single, uniform structure. Instead, it is composed of a number of different regions that each have their own distinct functions and connections to other parts of the brain. Researchers have used a variety of techniques to map these regions and to investigate their roles in different cognitive and emotional processes. One technique that has been used to study the prefrontal cortex is functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI). This method allows researchers to visualize changes in blood flow to different regions of the brain in response to specific stimuli or tasks. By analyzing these patterns of activation, researchers can gain insights into how different regions of the prefrontal cortex contribute to different cognitive and emotional processes. Another technique that has been used to study the prefrontal cortex is transcranial magnetic stimulation TMS. This method involves using a magnetic field to stimulate specific regions of the brain and temporarily disrupt their function. By selectively disrupting different regions of the prefrontal cortex, researchers can gain insights into the roles that these regions play in various cognitive and emotional processes. Despite the progress that has been made in understanding the prefrontal cortex, there is still much that remains unknown. Researchers continue to investigate the roles that different regions of the prefrontal cortex play in various cognitive and emotional processes. And they are also exploring new methods for studying the brain, such as optogenetics, which involves using light to selectively activate or deactivate neurons in the brain.